I love monkeys you love monkeys we all scream for monkeys. Every year in Mala, Thailand they hold a worldwide monkey contest to see who is the best of them all. They take 30 famous monkeys from across the globe and store them in a warehouse for three weeks and put them through immense trials to see if they can withstand them. If a monkey can do it, they go on to the next round. At the end there's three monkeys left and people vote for which monkey they like more. Most votes equals winner. This has been going since two weeks ago. And as of the time of uploading we are at the last week and therefore the last 10 monkeys. Today, you will use context clues and critical thinking to estimate what monkeys will make it to the top three and which one will win. Let's start by introducing the 10 monkeys we got left. First let's decide the monkeys with the biggest weaknesses. So we can eliminate them first. Ginny has shown incredible climbing and jumping ability. But who can forget the third day and week to where she had that fall off the cliff. She shows a lack of stamina and confidence overall. So for that reason I don't think she will make it to the top three. The fact that Philip has made it to the third week is an actual flabbergast he is so bad at everything. He can't even drink water correctly without almost drowning. I hate him. He can't pass any challenges. I have literally no idea how he's still alive. As we all know Bling has some issues with beating up his components during their trials. If you're up to date with the internet, you might have heard the show's producer is thinking about kicking Bling out for being unfair and also violent. For this reason it's an educated choice to think he won't win. Forgotten is placed at an unfair advantage. Being that he's the only monkey here without any arms or legs. Therefore it would make sense for him to lose. Blungo is good at everything, which makes him good at nothing. This leaves us at four monkeys left. So if we root out the worst one, we can finally guess what the top three will be. And then we can guess who will get the most votes and win. The monkeys we have left are Gmail, Thick Ones, Jeff, and Milkman. Gmail is a genius. She's won almost every challenge. Save for maybe the incident. And she's very very clever. Thick Ones might have played previous years. But he's still never won. The reason he's here is because he's funny. Every time he comes on screen everyone laughs. He is so silly and everyone loves him. I still always laugh thinking about that boiling water. Prank he pulled on bling. Classic. Jeff has technically not done anything to make himself lose. Who could forget Milkman? He's been in every annual World Monkey Contest since 2004. The scenes where he guides the others through the trials with his wisdom are so heartwarming. Sorry if it seems like I'm taking the piss out of this contest. I take it very seriously. Now it's rather obvious which monkey is gonna leave and which ones are going to, and my prediction. Be the top three. Milkman has played for 19 years. So far yet no cigar. This is why he isn't making it to the top three. So the top three are Gmail, Jeff, and Thick Ones. Now we just have to find out which is more beloved by the fan base. And we'll get a realistic estimate for who will win the World Monkey Contest 2023. He's more beloved. He will win. He is possibly the most loved person alive. He has done no wrong other than the boiling water prank he pulled on Bling. Classic. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis, again. 
This is just a prediction and I mean no harm to the monkeys in this video. In my opinion, Thick Ones will win just like he does every other year. Goodbye and good night.